In this video, we're gonna try the latest from Dior. Foundation stick, contours, blushes, and it feels like it's my birthday because I ordered directly from their website. And the packaging is glorious. Let's unbox it together. Let's take a look. This is a foundation stick. This is the stick contour. This is one of the blushes. This is Diorette. This one is Diorissimo. This is a powder contour with a highlighter. And then we have this other blush highlighter duo in Dior Riviera. They also had a gift with purchase. Mini nail polish, a lipstick. Oh, it's magnetic. So we're opening the foundation. It smells delicious, it smells like, like a spa. Lovely. I want to see it here. Why is it so dark? Okay, and there it is with better light. Ooh, it feels, it feels so light and soft. It blended away, it blended into the skin very easily. Okay, I'm thrilled. Here we go. Now my skin is peeling from tretinoin as usual. So we will see, we'll see how this foundation sits on it. It doesn't help that I am using a brush because it'll create like an exfoliation looking effect. So we'll see how this foundation looks on that peeling skin. This is an It Cosmetics Buffing Foundation Brush made for Ulta. It came in a set. So that's the first layer. In the areas where I'm not peeling, like right here, it looks beautiful. It looks almost as if I weren't wearing anything. Look at this area. So this is before and this is with one layer of foundation and look how natural, how natural it looks. It doesn't even look like I'm wearing foundation. Now on the areas where I am peeling, yes, you can see that it does emphasize them a little bit because it's sticking to, to those pieces of skin that are starting to roll into themselves, but it doesn't look terrible. This is supposed to have a natural finish. Yes, it does have a natural finish, buildable. So let's build it up a little bit more just to see whether it really does build well. I'm gonna also swipe it along the eyelids. Heat and humidity resistant formula has a blurring filter effect and can be used as a foundation or as a concealer. So this stick does it all. Foundation, concealer, uh, lasts 24 hours. All right, now let's see what it looks like on the other side with a sponge. So I'm just pressing. I like this method much better because I'm not, it's not lifting any of my peeling skin. And because it melts into the skin really well, I, I'm, I don't need to swipe it. I don't need to go over it multiple times. I love the blend. The blend is fantastic. It doesn't look like it's peeling. It doesn't look flaky. Whereas this side with the brush, you can see all of right there and here. And now I'm looking in the Dior website and it does not specify whether it's light coverage, medium or full. The only thing it tells you is that it is buildable. It's gonna give you a blurred effect, delivers a fresh faced 
appearance and hydrating coverage, perfecting the look of the skin. And that's what's really cool about this formula that it feels so lightweight and it looks so lightweight, so natural, yet it claims to stay on for 24 hours. So it sounds like it's a heavy duty foundation, but on the skin, it doesn't look like a heavy duty foundation. I'm using the Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Pressed Powder. Smile Lines T-Zone. And now let's check out the contour. I got the lightest shade reluctantly because my complexion is light medium. In general, the lightest shades of anything normally are too light for me. The next shade up was really warm. It looked like a bronzer. All right, here goes the contour. Nose a little bit. So I am seeing that even though this is 01 light or the lightest shade, I think this is not too light for me. This is going to work just fine. I am going to just try to tap it out again to not cause more flaking. So let's stick to the sponge for this one. A little, a little more, more elbow grease required than, um, than it is to blend out the foundation. I don't know if it's a different formula. It's th It still blends easily, but just not as quickly as the foundation. Or am I imagining things? What a joy this is to apply. What's another way of saying that it's, <laughs> it melts into the skin like butter? I need to have some variations. It really melts into the skin. You don't have to swipe it on top of the, and potentially move the foundation that you have already on. It's very softly that you have to, to glide it on. No pressure. All right, let's move on to, ooh, this looks like it's going to be broken. Please don't be broken. Oh no, oh no, this is so sad. Let's see if the others, if the others are okay. What about this, this guy? This is Dior, Dior Riviera. It, this one doesn't look like it's gonna be broken. Yeah, right here. You see how it's coming out of the pan? This edge is fully sunken into the pan, but these, it's almost like it it folded. Uh, it wanted to fold up like a, like a taco. <laughs> yeah, this needs to be like that. This one I can live with, but obviously this one, I'll have to contact them and get it exchanged. I'm crossing my fingers that this one will be intact. Okay, so same thing here. It wants to be a taco. Look here at the edges. It needs to be like that, but that, that's okay. I gotta see what this looks like next to the contour stick. And this is the lightest of the, the contour duos. So yes, it is super light. Hopefully it'll, it'll show up. This is not going to show on top of the, on top of the cream. The cream seems to be, to have more pigment. So I don't know how noticeable this powder is going to be. Editing me here. Yes, it's true that the powder does not show up on top of the, the cream contour stick. And you're going to see in a minute. I'm going to do a side by side so that we see the effect that the powder gives us by itself and what the cream stick gives us pigment wise by itself. The powder one is much lighter, very subtle. Okay. So here we can see just how much more intense the cream is than the powder contour here on the left hand side. I'm only wearing foundation in the middle. I'm only wearing foundation plus the contour stick on top. 
And here on the right, it's the foundation plus the contour powder, not the stick. We can still see a subtle contouring effect, but it's not as intense as the cream is. Finally, time for blush. All right, so we're gonna do this color on this side, the brighter orange on the left-hand side. This is a Real Techniques brush 407. Oh, I like how it's starting, the color starting to show very softly. Very softly, this is nice. This looks very natural. I don't know if, my, if you saw my most recent video that I tried on the ABH liquid blush in the shade Guava. Blushes that are so that have that are so intense from the get go, they're not not my preference. I rather build it. This is a, a natural finish. It's not matte. Definitely has a, a glow. I wouldn't call it, it it's not glowy. I, I'm really liking it for an everyday blush. Lovely. Let's try the highlighter now. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swatch it. Ooh, this feels, it feels dry. It's not, it's not smooth. Put it right here. Okay, so now I'm, let me take some of this. Ah. Ooh. They're not looking natural by any means. These look metallic, at least here on my fingers, and they feel kind of, kind of rough. Okay, so I, th I think it's easier to see the difference probably on my fingers. So this is this one, this is this one. This one looks more peachy. This looks, this looks metallic. All right, let's see what it looks like on the cheeks. Let's get some of this highlighter. Ooh. This is quite, um, Quite blinding. I'm surprised that with such a soft, natural looking blush, they give you such a, a beaming highlighter. It does have glitter. It's fine glitter, but it's there. It is sparkly, fine glittery. In front of a window. You know what I don't think I'm able to capture is the pink shift. The highlighter actually has this pink yeah, but I can't, I don't think the camera is getting it. It is not, not very natural, <laughs> not very natural. <laughs> now let's try this blush right here. Same thing with the pickup. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it's picking up a lot of product here. And there's the color, okay. So even though it didn't look like, looking at the brush, it didn't look like there was hardly any product in there, any blush. I am seeing the color being deposited. Hmm. Come on. Hmm, there we go. Super, super soft. I thought this was gonna give me more pigment payoff, but that's good. But now if we see it compared to the other one, is there a difference? Subtle. <laughs> Very subtle difference. This is more pink and this is more, more coral. Instead of putting this highlighter on, on this cheek, let me get the highlighter that comes with the contour. I want to see 
if it's less beamy, less metallic, if it's smoother, just by looking at them all together, it looks like it will be smoother. These two look more foiled and this one, not as much. Yeah, it feels smoother. It doesn't feel as rough. You can definitely see the difference. Smoothness wise, this one seems, this one seems to have a more satin finish, the highlighter, than, than this one that is just all out a metallic looking highlighter. I'm going to use this brush. It's a Spotlight Duster from Sigma F37 to pick it up. Whoa, wow. Let me just tap the excess. You can build it up to look a lot more kabam. I like it better than the others, than the other two. This one that comes with the contour just looks smoother. It's not looking metallic. This is more of a hardcore highlight. I'm gonna go do my eyes, lips, and I'll come back in a few hours for a check-in to see how the foundation and how everything is looking. So I'll see you in a bit. Checking in four hours later. This foundation, I don't think it's gonna be for oily complexions. I'm noticing right away some shine on the T-zone, especially right here, inner cheeks, sides of the nose, chin. But some of the areas, for example, here in the sides of the nose, it looks like it's starting to separate. But as I say that, I don't know if it's really starting to separate or if it's my skin that is that it wants to peel. Um, in the other problem areas, I don't see any any separation. I do see that it's you know it's settling into my smile lines. Everything settles there. I am going to just buff those out. Well, I didn't completely buff them out, but. That works for me. I think I'm going to powder again with the same Laura Mercier powder and very lightly. Let's get rid of that shine right there. The blush is looking good. The highlighter, the highlighter looks good. Let's wait a few more hours and I'll do another check-in. All right, last check-in of the day. It is now 8.50 PM. You do get shiny throughout the day. Even with me powdering it just three hours ago, it feels a little, um, it looks a little shinier than I would like it to look. Final thoughts, let's recap. Foundation, worth it, yes, 100%. I loved it, it looks beautiful on. The contour, I don't know why I got a contouring shade because I don't really contour. But one thing we did learn that is pretty useful is that if your, your skin tone is similar to mine, the lightest shade will definitely work for you. I might get the shade up that looks like a bronzer just because, I mean, the, the blend is beautiful, hard to resist. Okay, the blushes. In my opinion, mm, these are, they're just whatever. If you are looking for a natural, soft-looking blush, Yes, it'll be, this will be very pretty, but is it anything special that is blowing my socks off? Not really. And remember the highlighters are blingy. What I do think is worth it if you like a soft contour is the powder contour, especially because the highlighter that it comes with, I actually would get use out of it since it's not sparkly like the ones in, in the blushes. So if you are someone who likes a subtle contour in powder form, obviously. I think this is a good option, especially because I'm thinking compared to, for example, blushes that we have a million and one options for blushes. For powder contours, I don't think we have quite as many. So again, if you're into a subtle contour, I do like this one. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, remember to give me a like and I will see you in the next one. Bye.